So um, the Team Canada roster came out for the uh, IIHF World Hockey Championships. And okay. Adam Fantilli is on as 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 we oh, expected. Oh, excellent! Adam yeah, you reported there. that, right? So, you know, and yeah, that uh, a, a few weeks ago, and so that uh, that came true. So you know, check one box. Jeffy got one. Um, mm-hmm. I'm nice. pretty sure that you'll be happy to find out that Jake Wallman is on there. Jake Wallman oh, is the pride of the pride of Armour Heights. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, so he, uh, he he makes it on as well. Uh, Devin Levi, Sam Monsonbo are the netminders. And interesting in this in this lineup is Milan Lucic. And the reason that I mention that it's interesting, and it's nothing against Milan Lucic, the player, mm-hmm. I always find it maybe dangerous is the right word when players whose contracts are expiring and they're mm-hmm. heading into a summer where they're looking for a new contract, go and play at the World Championships. Like, I if I always say it's like okay if I were a player I would always go always go always go and then you know sober second look you say to yourself well if I had a contract I would go if I had some financial security I would go this is my career my life my family's livelihood all of it um, and here's Milan Lucic who's in, heading into a summer of question marks who's going to the World Championships where you know you run the risk of injury these are still very competitive uh games that are being played does that raise an eyebrow to you the fact that Lucic is without contract as of right now after July 1st yet he's going to play at the World Championship uh I you know it's it's much more of a basketball phenomenon over the years and it's been a hockey phenomenon um I I know that in the NBA, I've seen situations, especially when I used to deal with it more, where players did not go to Olympics or or world championships or wherever uh, because of insurance reasons. I have definitely seen that. It is a more recent phenomenon in hockey. Um, Pedersen, for example, the Canucks, he can't play for Sweden because they can't work out the insurance issues. So, And that doesn't happen uh, as much. Um, you know, Lucic, first of all, I was actually glad to see it um, because, you know, I, I, they had a really tough year. Players like Lucic don't often get invited to world championships because, you know, their yeah. style of play doesn't really fit what, um, you know, the world championships are generally about. And, um, you know, I, 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 think it's, I think it's a great thing he's going. Uh, the fact that he would want to go and got invited, I think, is excellent for him. Yeah. But... Jeff, uh, it, to me, it's a relatively newer phenomenon in hockey, although I had seen it quite a bit mm-hmm. in, in basketball. I'm just looking at the lineup right now. I have to tell you, I was looking at the U.S. lineup yesterday, and I'm was looking at the and i now looking yep. at the Canadian lineup. It's, uh, like, I, I don't know, like, is it, is, it, is it me, or does it seem like more players, more established players, I would say, are turning down this tournament than yeah. ever? Uh, absolutely. I, I don't think that that's, I think, yeah, I mean, there's a, there, there's a number of players here that are probably on this lineup. And I think for the United States as well, because other more established players are saying, you know what, I'm, uh, I'm taking a pass. And, and I wonder if that is a combination of, uh, a few things. One, the season's really long. And by the mm-hmm. time you get to the end of it, I mean, a lot of teams were close and there's so much disappointment. Like I can understand, like I can understand pretty much anybody on that Pittsburgh Penguins team saying, you know what, that was an emotionally draining season. I need to recharge. I, I need to, you know, I need to get my, my mojo back here. These are some, some veteran guys. Um, but I think that also, uh, and may, maybe this is too much of a reach. Tell me whether you think this is a reach or not. Cause I thought this thought the same thing when I saw the U S roster and the Canadian roster today, I know I have, I suspect you have, I suspect our listeners slash viewers have as well. I think everybody coming out of COVID has reprioritized a lot of things in life. I agree. And what's 100%. important and what's not, and what's not important and what I now deem as fun, but frivolous uh, I think we're measuring off, okay, I'll do this, but at what cost? You know, what's the old saying? You know, um, what we gain on the roundabout, we lose on the swings. You know, I think people mm-hmm. are, are measuring that right now in their lives. And I wonder if that's just a matter of, you know what, I've just had a long hockey season. Right now, I have other things in my life that I want to do. Family is more of a priority, perhaps, coming out of COVID than ever before. So my decision is not to go play more hockey. That's what I wonder about. 
Uh, I completely agree with you, Jeff. And I don't like I don't blame anyone for de- for deciding what they want to do with their lives. Um, if, if they want to spend more family time and or just relax and recover a bit more, I I have no problem with that. I actually should say I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing. Like uh, to be honest, like I look at oh. the idea of a- Adam Fantilli at Team Canada, and I want to see it. You know, I saw Matt Coronado, for example, is going to play for Team USA. Yes. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing him. Like like Matt Coronado, you know, we haven't seen him much against professional players. I, I want to see it. Uh, um, yeah. uh, Levi uh, for Buffalo, the way he ended the season, he's him and Montembeau are going to split the duties, I assume, and overseas. Um, I'm I'm happy to watch that. So I don't mind the new blood, the younger blood, the different blood. Like I said, I think I think it's a great thing for Lucic that he would get to go to that because. I don't know if that would have happened in, in years past. So I'm, I'm happy to watch some different players. Like, you know, one thing I, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of look at there is that sometimes fresh blood is, is a good thing. So I don't mind it at all.